Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Virginia Tech Hokies. Number 31 is a player who can handle playing under any pressure situation. He's a star player that we'll keep our eyes on tonight. He works extremely hard on defense, Brad. He denies the ball. He challenges all shots, and he boxes out. He's really a coach's dream. The Hokies will no doubt have to find an answer for him. The Hokies are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. Number one... Pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Second, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And finally, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. The Hokies will step to the line for the first time. He hits it. on that free throw line and that's major he's got the post flashing if he wants it for the bucket and in and out the lay -in. both teams are looking to get something going here Fakes. The small forward gets the ball. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Down inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. They let him get into a rhythm. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. High post flashes. Great anticipation defensively. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Dribble gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's a double team waiting there. Tries for two. On the inside. Oh, what a strip, Red. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. He's got a nice shot fake. Looking for a screen on top and got it. There's the trap. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, man. Great ball handling skills. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from long range. Oh, yes. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Trying to feed the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. They go into the low block. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. 
Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The small forward with the ball. Excellent space and that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented blocks up there. Yeah, that helps. Now trying to feed the low block. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, bro. Should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. There they come with a double team to stop it. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Post flasher is open. Picks off the lazy pass. They're off into transition. Trying to draw some contact. Sinks it. They scored seven in a row. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. You betcha. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Goes up for two. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. The center takes the pass. Three. It sticks. In the paint, swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They run it up into transition. For two, drains the shot. Ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. A little frustration right there. transition tries for two nice job to create the angle using the glass <laughs> defense doing a great job pushing the basketball and that bucket's gonna catch plus one a big time and one baby is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting out a performance. He goes to the free throw line. Gets it. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. 
Here's a flash from the post up high. He's open if he wants the shot. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Hokies have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They work it back to the outside. He does the sweet fake shot. Sets the screen for his teammate. Way off target. High post player flashing. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. Turns it over. High post flashes for the ball handler. The point guard takes the feed. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just a tap and took it to the basket. The point guard gets the pass. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. They work it around the perimeter. With a bucket. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jug. He takes the three, makes it. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. And a momentary look from three-point land. Contact causes the shot to come off. They work the perimeter. Got a wide-open look. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Post screen goes to the lane. Foul called off the pro hop. Nice move to the hoop. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. To the line. Makes the first shot. This is the second. He grabs the board. From the baseline. That's good. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. That's really extended on that perimeter line. They move it into the front court. On the dribble, gives it up. He comes away with it. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries one from three-point land. He buries the shot. That's incredible. Looking for a good shot. 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Off the rim with the block. Up and inside. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. From the free throw line. the screen again. What did I say? Trying to draw the foul. Drains it. For two, perfectly executed. Entry pass in the paint. Here's the trap. Picked out of the air. Length of the floor. Tries for two. There was no doubt about that one. Excellent spacing. That's so important in a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the circle. Tickles a twine. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. And a momentary look from three-point land. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. in front to take it away for the bucket scorches the net steals a pass and the ball goes out of bounds Here we go on the break. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. There's a double team waiting there. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Gets the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Controlling the ball. He's got an open look for the shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Working it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Look at that student body. They are going mad. 
They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Set that screen away. Notre Dame are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Goes for the deep one. Way off target. Fakes it. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Hokies have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. He takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people in the foul trouble. It's two at the charity strike. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the three ball. That was nice. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the outside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He draws a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. In the paint. Gave it up. Double team now. Bad angle. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Shot clock is dead. There he is, strips the ball loose. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. In and out. And the ball goes out of play. He 
He puts it up there. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Fighting Irish lead by six. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? You have to talk about this trifecta for the highlight of the first half, Brad. After this shot, you really saw the defense have to stretch out, which opened up the inside game. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Virginia Tech lost the battle of the boards in the first half, that's for sure, Dick. They deserved it, Brad. I didn't see anyone working hard to fight for rebounds. I don't see how a team can win ball games like that. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. They work it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside! Tries for two. Carson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. They're working around the perimeter. He lets it go. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. He can't shake the pressure. Watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The shot from the baseline. He gets that one to fall. Here's a double team. He goes with a jump hook. The Fighting Irish have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Takes the pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They'll work it around the arc. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. For two, can't get the shot to go. Way out on top, controlling the ball. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. There's the trap. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> And off the mark. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He strips him clean. charge and he's going to pick up the foul and oh look at the look on his face i tell you what he's disgusted but so is his coach that spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin and that's basic in the paint. My goodness. Players these days that are athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. He shoots from right of the circle. The Fighting Irish have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. It off him. He gets up the floor on the break. Up, easy one. This one deserves another look, Brad. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots. The Hokies have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. And back they come the other way. Goes up for two. Virginia Tech are on a nice little run at the moment. And now to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the outside, takes away the pass. It appears as though it'll be an easy two here. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Picked off. Gave it up. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Steals the ball. Here they go into the break for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. Married it. That's a 7 nothing run. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught. And this kid has responded in a positive way. 
on the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Padgett in the paint. Notre Dame are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Looking for a good shot. Looking for a good shot. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The mayhem is off the charts, Brad. Here's a double team. Transition opportunity coming up. Tries for two. Oh, yes. The center takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. He dials long distance. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Still don't score. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And again, they look to run. Nice high post screen. Basket falls despite the contact. the perimeter they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass virginia tech are on a run right here as of late dick yeah they've started to put it together on offense can they keep it together though that is the question The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Now work it around the arc. He pulls the trigger. Way off target. Look at that spacing. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Great play to take that to the basket. off the lazy pass. 
Ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover here. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Number five makes his first substitution. I'll tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to drag the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the inside, using his size with a power, swatted out of there, block shot. Up, oh, easy one. the perimeter he tries the three ball he's money with the shot that one's definitely worth the second look Brad <laughs> working it around the perimeter looking for a good shot looking for a good shot Pull-up jumper from way out. He drains the bucket. And the fans here are loving the action. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. He's trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. He goes for three. Ain't no stopping him right now from the arc, Dick. You better believe it, baby. They're making him pay from out there. And a momentary look from three-point land for the deuce. And he scores despite the hack. Side. There's the rejection. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. Dumps it in for two. Married it. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He makes the first. Makes those free throws come. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. White handles the feed and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. Great defense. The center takes the pass. He takes it away. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Good fake. Fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Can't get the shot to drop. That 
spin moves not going to work against this defense. It's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Makes the shot. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With the shot. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Let's look at it again. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Receives the pass. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. With the fake. Strips the ball. Pushes it. Jumped in front to take it away. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He nails the shot. Hunt receives the ball. Oh, screeners seeing stars after that screen. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. I'm out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. They work the perimeter. The center handles the pass for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Robs him of the ball. The point guard gets the pass. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They work it around the arc. The shooting guard with the ball goes up for two. Better fall quick. Shot clock is dead. The center gets the ball. Tries for two. The Fighting Irish have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. 
They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Now the kick out. Now they'll bring it up. Focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Virginia Tech loses in a close game. They'll be disappointed to come up short to such an evenly matched team. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.